Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video how to install the lighting mod that I have in my game. Uh, if you guys missed my previous video of the must have mods, then you might have um, saw that I asked if you guys wanted me to do this kind of video for you guys because this lighting mod is a little bit confusing to install, especially if you're a beginner with installing mods and you just don't want to mess up your game because yes, it can happen, trust me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. The uh, lighting mod that I have is the Astral Lights from Burnt Waffle. There's other environmental mods that they have created as well for The Sims 4, but personally, I like the Astral mod or the Astral Lights because of the auroras that it has. So anyways, what you're going to have to do is you're going to want to scroll down here and download the 6 Sam Milky Way Colorful Stars and Auroras or just download without the Auroras, which if you download that one, you don't get the pretty green clouds and stuff like that. And then I have the Aurora Cloud Default Replacement. Um, and then I also have the No Glow, No Blue um, for other downloads, but I'm not going to show you guys that. But I have the this one installed as well. And this one is actually super easy to put in your game. You just literally copy and paste it into your actual mods folder. Um, the actual lighting mod actually has to go in other folders, which is what I'm going to go ahead and you know, show ya. So I have already um, op or downloaded it. So we're going to go ahead and come here and we are going to extract it to its own folder because you need it to extract. And if you don't have an extracting program, I definitely suggest WinRAR. I will find a link for you guys and I will have it down in the description for you guys. So anyways, you'll open it and it'll look like this. So the first thing that you want to do is actually migrate over towards where your game is installed on your computer. Um, I personally have it on my solid state drive, but for people that don't have solid state drive and they just have their actual hard drive in their computer, it'll be under Windows and the program files um, 86, and then you'll go down to Origin Games, um, and it'll be in this little area. But for me, it's in my solid state drive and Sims 4. And when you open up the Origin Games on your program files, you'll have a Sims 4 folder. Just go ahead and open that up and then we can get started. So for the base game, you have all of these. You have 15 items. So you go over to your Sims 4 folder in your programs files, go to the data, uh, shared worlds, areas, and then you'll have it over here. And you just literally wanna grab it and drag it over there. Replace the files if it asks you to replace them. Um, and that's the base game. And then you have Forgotten Hollow World, which um, I you can you can choose what ones you want to install. It's not currently updated for the new world, uh, the uh, uh, Br Brindleton Bay. It's not updated for The Sims, uh, cats and dogs. Just so you guys know. So we got Forgotten Hollow, which is Game Pack Zero Four, and you'll go over here and go into the Game Pack Zero Four world areas. And you'll have it right here. I don't know why it looks like that. Let's go ahead and make it into, because I like it a little bit better. You grab that and you drag it over there, replace the file, because I'm sure it'll ask you. And you go back to this folder, back to this one, and you go to Granite Falls, which is Game Pack 01. Do the same thing. Super straightforward. Copy, paste, replace, you know, that stuff. Um, and then we have the get to work, which is expansion, expansion pack zero one. You go world areas, all that copy, paste. There we go. Super easy. San Mishuno, which is, um, expansion pack zero three worlds areas. Drag over. I'm pretty sure you guys get the, get the gist of it, but. I'll just go through it for you guys. And then we have Windenburg, which is um, expansion pack 02. Um, and then you'll go over here, um, replace the files in the destination, and voila, you should have it installed. And you guys can go ahead and install that other one just in your mods folder, Electronical Arts, Documents, Electronical Arts, uh, Sims 4, Mods, 
and then however you place it mine's in my actual mods in my mods folder super confusing um but it's right here it's the burnt waffles aurora cloud default default replacement so that is how you install the mod and it's very straightforward make sure you go ahead and actually save your folder of the just the sims 4 just save this this folder just right click copy put it on your desktop just in case anything happens um you can also just kind of delete this and i think that it'll just kind of like re like um uh come back on your computer when you open up your game i'm not 100 sure i always back up my things when i change anything with my games so yeah but um i'm gonna go ahead and open up my game and actually show you guys the sky and stuff like that and hopefully you guys can see the difference um it's amazing and i highly 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 suggest you get the no glow and no blue as well just because it'll actually like add a lot to your game really weird that it's not working um i do have a links on my previous video so i will link those as well but highly highly suggest you guys go ahead and get those mods as well because it just makes it just a thousand times better so yeah but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wait until my game is open and i will go ahead and show you guys the beautiful skies Alrighty, so we are in game. This is just my legacy challenge that I stream on uh, Twitch. And if you guys don't follow me over there, go follow me. What you doing? Anyways, so yes, like I said, I do have like the regular lighting mod and then I have those extra additional lighting mods as well, which do a dramatic change in my opinion. Like I bet you anything, if I took those out, it looked a thousand times different. So definitely go download those okay so it is almost 4 p.m and i'm just gonna go ahead and sit right here i'm gonna you know do that um actually let's find a different like maybe like like this so um i don't know if i can i don't Okay, yep, there we go. I took that off so that it's not like blurry or anything like that so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm just gonna go like this and have them have it fast forward so you guys can see a change because it is almost nighttime and it's gonna be so beautiful, trust me. You guys are gonna fall in love and you're gonna wanna download this, I guarantee you. I did show this off in my must have mods as well. So if you guys, you know, have watched that, you guys have probably seen this. Um, but yeah, so it is slowly changing. The sky is turning purple and blue and pretty soon we're going to have a bunch of auroras and it's going to be so pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't know why. I don't think I can ever go back to normal lighting for The Sims 4 after having this mod and those other mods that I have. I just can't do it. Like, <laughs> is that so bad? But anyway, so here it is, night sky. We got some pretty blue stars, purple stars. Um, now the it's just white clouds, but they're turning very slightly green, if you guys can tell. I'm sure you guys can hear my Sims freaking out in the background. So here are the auroras. They do happen every single night that I've noticed, which is actually really nice. There's a really pretty one right there so pretty i love this love 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 this lighting mod like look at this guys you don't get this and you know regular lighting in the sims 4 at all so yeah but anyways that is all i wanted to show you guys i hope this helped you guys get this installed into your game because i i had a little bit of issues as well i was so confused when i first installed it and then like i came back and i was like i need to get it installed so I came back like a few months later and I got it installed and I'm happy. I'm never going back. So yes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. And I will talk to you guys all in my very next one. Bye everyone.